Hey guys, welcome to the Sean Linton Talk Show. I'm your host, Dr. Linton. Now, I have got a brief video to talk about how to declare war. And by this, I'm talking about understanding the, the time that we are living in. You know, people um, make assumptions without knowing the facts. You know, people make assumptions. And it is getting worse because of the time that we are living in, you know. And I do understand the different um, issue because sometimes people like to be entertained, you know. And sometimes to, eat, to take the issue... Uh, the focus of themselves to another person whether it is true or not they don't want to know the facts or want to know the truth they just want a story that would sort of ease their pain like a drug um momentarily you know but the right way to do it i say that a society is built by you knowing what you're on about and to declare war for you um when you're doing something go go to the person directly if i'm going to sue you i'm going to let you know if i don't like you i'm going to let you know if i don't want to talk to you i'm going to let you know if i have got nothing to do with i'm going to let you know if i don't want you in your party i'm going to let you know if i don't want you at my door i'm going to let you know if i don't want you to say hello i will let you know you know if i'm going to examine you, i'm going to let you know uh tell people that it is uh right especially in the 21st century that we do live in you know we have systems and you know a european nation as privileged and as powerful as we are we've got to uh, the, the correct way to do things because sometimes you can mess it up and maybe you can deal with a matter and get more results if you go through the co um, correct channels we have the police now well, don't be afraid of them that's what the police system is for we have got the court system we have got the council system we have got all these legal system that if you do think somebody is shifty shady or so forth let, let the person know and go and search them out and do what you do but don't take the own back on yourself because that is you being a coward and trying to make a war because, but the issue is on yourself you know if it cannot be direct if it cannot be upfront if it cannot come to somebody's face then you are the coward you having a love but it is on yourself Self because you are trying to get um, an issue to, to take the focus off yourself, you know, to take off your issues when it is you have the issue. If you are going to bring a prognosis or a diagnosis, you need to assess the person. This is the reason why we have trained psychologists and psychiatrists and they have to assess the people in order to make an accurate and a right decision pertaining to that person's uh, um, state or state of mind so you know to declare war i would encourage anybody is that you you need and there's nothing wrong you know there's nothing wrong we must understand that we are different and we are individual and because of our individuality in different um, um contexts you, you you know it's not that you are legally right or uh, you're legally wrong, but if you don't like something you need to speak up we're living into an age that people like to be two-faced and that is just the truth it's a practice to be you don't need to be two-faced you don't need to be an hypocrite and backbite and having a good time behind somebody back when you see them i i would never do that to people when i say say good morning to you i mean it when i say good afternoon to you i mean it whatever i say behind you i say to you and i don't say to you vicariously i say to you directly i don't speak in in your windows i speak to you straight i do not have time to be um sarcastic i come to you right in the face and let you know what i'm talking about and why i'm talking about what i'm talking about and what i don't need to talk about so we need our children today to be upfront. this is the way i'll raise my children this is where i teach my nieces and my nephew and my cousins and my guardian and my mentors and my mentees and i and in my professional and religious life and my my own life that's what i practice to be upfront because i do believe if you are even though i entitled this video uh to declare war I'm not talking about nuclear war or a war, a World War Three. I'm talking about um, your whole um, ethics and moral and standard and the way that we live. And if you're a private person, then you are a private person. And let me say this before you go. When you stand for something right, that doesn't mean that you are saying that I'm better than and or more than. It means that I'm talking that this is my belief and this is my stand. I'm not talking about you. You 
you have got right to stand for what you stand for and to say what you say. I have the right to say what I, and I'm saying it. You don't want to say it, that's up to you. We need to be able to be upfront for this generation to be straight to the point, not to be two-faced, not to be um, this sort of a, a, a person that is um, um, backwards or so. No, come to somebody intelligently and say, well, you know what happened when you did this? I never liked it. I never liked the way you spoke to me that, that way. I don't like the way you parked the car. I don't like this. It is right. And it is in your right. And that's the way children need to be. Not rude, not disrespectful, not, 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 not forgetting your place and position. Re maintaining your position, but be respectful, but also standing up. And if you are going to investigate somebody, if you have any inclination about somebody, don't uh, put it in the, I don't want them to know. Why are you whinging behind somebody's back? Why are you cussing behind somebody's back? Why are you upset behind somebody's back? Come up to the front and say it and get it over with and move on to the next subject. Life is short, man, and we will die and make sure we live before we die. We ain't got time for that. That is garbage. That's what I call is toilet matter to flush it. The way to deal with life and the way to, to bring our children is to be direct, is to be straight, is to be up front, is to say this and we move on and we move on and that is it. And you've got nothing to apologize about because it is you. Just become the best you possible so you can say what you say respectfully and nice and stand. You don't owe anybody any apology. You've got a right to be you, but be the best you, be the nice you, be the more respectful you and do it in front. That is you being you. What is not your business is not your business. And I say to your face, come up front and say, it. come up and let us do it. And let us be a nation. Let us be a, a nation that is just dealing with things that is progressive and moving on and light. Thank you.